Hello and welcome back to the Imperium, my friends. My name is Kalan. This is the Suspicious Cult of the Lost Ones. And we're getting there. We're actually getting there. We've got our main area mined out for sleeping quarters. We've got them starting to be filled in. Uh, trash is going mental. Jack is about to break. And she just goes on a wandering of psychotic freedom. But apart from that, we are actually progressing and making it work for us. I still think this needs to be completely redone. It's too tight a gap. Maybe push the doors back to here. Ha and maybe push the doors along to here and have a larger entrance and entryway. That'll be something that I think about over the next few episodes. We'll see how it handles when people actually come and attack us through this area. We need to obviously fill this area out with, like, smooth it, get rid of the rocks, make that ready. The most important thing right now is getting people into these bedrooms and happy. Getting power in these bedrooms, smoothing the area so that power cables can be put through the walls. And then we can basically get rid of these. We'll probably keep them as prisoner rooms. It could be a nice little prisoner complex. Eventually, once I've learned how to make turrets, I can put a little couple of turrets outside so if there's any breaks for freedom, they get shot down. But they're not bad rooms. Right, the first thing we need to do is rescue Scott. In, to, in so much as we did that once, he's now dead, but rescue his body so it can be put into the marble sarcophagus. To that end, cannon fodder, can you come down here? Ah, there he is, Scott. And can you, cannon fodder, please haul him? Thank you. Right, now who's really, really happy in his net? Oh, Puck's iron willed. And he's actually quite... He's not happy right now. But, can you do me a favour, Puck, <laughs> and essentially guarantee that you're going to break yourself? But I need you to haul some people. Thank you. Who would have thought observing over five corpses would be uh, horrible? The good thing is that the observed corpse debuff, it goes to a maximum of five. Which is why I only want one person doing this. Scott of Black. The sarcophagus is engraved with a portrayal of Scott Henson getting a drink from Carlo Mbaxada. Mbaxada. With a broad grin, a large group of oxes play nearby. The folksy style of the central scene clashes with the photographic depiction of the background. This illustration refers to Scott attending Carlo's party. Ah, Man, these huskies and the bear are, are doing great work in hauling for us. Okay, shit, a raid. A group- oh, you're kidding me. A group of mechanoids from a mechanoid hive have dropped right in right on top of you. They're attacking immediately. So, not only are they mechanoids, and we all hate mechanoids, they're also not going to go into our nice little defensive area. I don't think we're ever going to be able to use this defensive area. Okay, everyone needs to get up. And Shuzgo's still breaking. He's badly malnourished. Can you stop being an idiot? Okay, we don't have time to deal with Shuzgo. He'll, he, he can deal with himself when he snaps out of his depression. We need to get people ready for this drop, because we have no idea where it's going to be. Here they come. Oh my god. Literally right on top of us. I've gathered the troops. We're all, gonna, we're all mingling in the front at the moment. Carlo may be screwed completely. Okay, one of them landed here. That's great. That's, that's in the back line. It shouldn't be too much damage. Two of them are in here. And it will take at least a second to get out. This one's going to be the issue straight away. We need someone to get those grenades. Uh, Inisan, equip your EMP grenades. Carlo, fucking run! Yes, take forever to get out the drop pod. That's really good. Puck with his shotgun's not going to be very effective unless he can get some serious cover. Man, I wish Star wasn't anesthetized. He's got our only power, uh, shield. Okay, we've got a Scyther. That's not great. Yes, shoot him. Make sure he can't hit Gar Carlo. If he hits Carlo, Carlo's going to lose a limb or something. Snowman, I don't particularly want you in combat with him. You need to be ready. Oh, and a Psychic Drone? Come on, game. Don't attack the bear. Or, I mean, or do, and just die, Scyther. In fact, this Scyther's getting completely annihilated by Gator. Nice. One down. There's two in here and one around there. They're just about to break through. Um, Jackie, repairing granite door. Which door? Uh, 
maybe, maybe, Jackie, you go do something different for a while. Send Jackie to smooth six pieces of wall. She'll be down there for hours. They're going to break through this wall any second. Puck, I want you over here. Shotguns at close range. Simrex, you're standing in the way, which is good. Two scythers. Okay. Nice. They're heading towards Puck. I don't want that to happen. Heading towards Gator. Don't want that to happen. No, they're heading towards Trash. It was a ruse! It was a ruse! Shit. One down. But one very much alive. Okay, Simrex, Snowman, this is exactly what kind of thing I need you for. Okay, now I need you to stop firing. Okay, they the guy's broken through here, so he's just going to destroy a bedroll. That is A-OK. -okay. Man, they love their scythers, don't they? Trash hasn't lost any parts yet. Okay, I need you to stop firing. Snowman and Simrex have this? Snowman and Simrex have this. Snowman didn't lose anything, but needs to go and heal. Same with Trash. Right. We have one left. Oh, he's destroying that door. I see. Here's another Scyther. Let's just run. Run, Simrex, run. Run, Simrex. Run. Disengage. I don't understand why you're having such a problem with this, Simrex. Okay, good. They destroyed the wall to save you. Go and heal. We survived. Fairly well, in fact. Hooray! Cannon Fodder and Carlo working away on tending to people, which is great. And there's no surprise here that Jackie has suffered a complete mental breakdown. Not only has she lost her brother, she was on the teetering on the brinks of collapse. She thinks it's a moderate psychic drone. To be honest, this is actually probably for the best that Jackie's down. I mean, now she's down, hopefully it'll be... 12 days before she's up again, and then she'll have forgotten about her brother. <laughs> well, that's harsh. Can someone tend... Can, is no one going to tend to Simrex? That, that's harsh, guys. No, don't feed him a fine fucking meal. No. Clean blood. <laughs> Alex is like, whoa, deep wounds? Well, that must mean he needs food. Simrex has an infection. Not something I can just ignore, unfortunately. Uh, go. Who, who is tending to Simrex? Tycho is tending to Simrex. Where is he? Stop trying to feed him fucking meals! He needs medical attention! Why do people not get this? Can we please have someone with a doctorate fucking heal him? Oh, but a simple meal will really help! Simrex 86 to 54, he'll survive that no problem. The drone's finished, trash is up and about and healed. Everyone's unbroken apart from Jackie, who's going to be like this for a while. But she's now only got one or two debuffs, which is really good. Okay, I've got our little dining room kind of finished now. We're going to have a marble table with beautiful wooden chairs around the outside, a billiards table for fun, and blue fur armchairs around a marble chess table. We'll also have some cloth prayer pillows for meditation and that sort of thing. Maybe this will be better in people's rooms. I think people generally meditate in their rooms over other places. So I'll leave these here, and when we have some more cloth, I'll put one of those in each of everyone's rooms, just because it might help with their comfort levels. And finally, we've got a wooden shelf to put meals so that they don't have to go into the freezer to get them. That's the idea. I may actually take this door out as well. 
The entire idea is that people don't cut the shortcut through here. This is meant to be for freezer duties and the kitchen. Having this door here means people keep on running through in this direction uh, to get to the kitchen. I don't mind people going into the freezer to get to the kitchen, but I don't want them to do that if they're trying to get into the dining room or below. So I actually will deconstruct that. But this should look amazing. Puck, get on it. You're our best constructor by far, I believe. Yeah, Puck, Starforger, and Shuzgo are all fantastic. So they, those are the three that I want working on this beautiful room. Ah, yes. Yeah, Shuzgo, Star, and Puck. Oh, an excellent billiards table. Oh, I did want to mention, actually, we also have some pretty damn bits, good, good bits of art down here. A good marble table? I mean, I'm a bit disappointed, if I'm honest, Puck, but I'll take it, but only good... Disappointed. Disappointed. An excellent armchair from Star there. An excellent dining table, a uh, dining chair. An excellent marble chess table. This is all from very, very good. What's the art on this? 75 for Shuzgo. This furniture was engraved with a representation of Shuzgo putting together a spike trap while smiling proudly. The spike trap glows a soft red. Jesus, darkest dungeon vibes. Good work, team. Another excellent chair from Puck. Just depicts a ridge. Just a really nice ridge. An excellent chair from the style. God, these excellent chairs. This room's going to be so fucking good. And I bet it will be the first room targeted by infestation. Lonely wood. <laughs> Star made this. The furniture is engraved with a representation of Soul Power X. Jesus, it's always the Soul Power X. Destroying red camber's capacity for blood pumping. Seemingly without remorse. Soul Power X seems satisfied. Uh, executing red. Jesus Christ. Hey, Jackie's alive again. Hi, how's it going, Jackie? You still have eight days or eight, nine days almost on your brother that debuff, but your mood is going to skyrocket. Excellent. Okay, our tables and table and chairs are complete, and oh my god, so many excellence and masterworks. Holy shit, what's the beauty rating of this place? I mean, barring the dirt, you can see each of those chairs is like 42, 26, 18. There's only a three. Is that because of dirt? It must be, yeah. We've got put capturing Scott with obvious pleasure. We've got work number QV10, or IO, QVO. Starforger inscribing his name on an armchair. So hang on, there's art on this dining chair about Starforger inscribing his name on an armchair with a satisfied expression. Two clowns gaze in awe. Nice, I think it's, it's this armchair. It's only a good one, but the masterwork one's about the good one. Ah, oh, tune for love. Solitary. <laughs> Portrayal of a solitary chief rendered in silhouette near a hamlet. This is excellent. Devastated entrails. This furniture is engraved with the image of five knuckle dusters. The work is a modern feeling in a rectangular structure. And we've got our good little wooden shelf there to store the fine meals, which is excellent because then they don't have to go into the freezer to get them. Oh, I'm so proud of this little area. This is so fucking good. Barring the dirt, this place would be an absolute stunner. Another item stash quest. Okay. An item stash quest I'm actually interested in. An Arco Arcotec arm. An artificial arm built by an Arcotec. <laughs> How surprising. It's strong enough to crush a thick hardwood branch in its hand and precise enough to write a sonnet on a grain of rice. It looks and feels like natural flesh, but it's harder to damage than plasteel. Even if it's harmed, it repairs itself over time. Its internal workings are a mystery, mystery to all human minds. Holy shit. It's guarded by nine enemies. I'm not sure I care. I mean, there are, well, there were various things around. There's quite a few outposts for us to destroy. Persona cores and that kind of thing. But Helium Xerum. Helium Xerum is pretty good. And Tech Prof Sub Puffs. Tech Prof Sub Persona cores. I don't even know what that is. But this. 22 days. We need to prepare. Ooh, this seems like a Simrex kind of thing. He's one of our melee characters anyway, so the arm's going to be great there. But also, he has a gunshot in his, old, in his right arm. Ooh, that seems like something I'd want to do. 
Hey, Star's throwing a party. Nice. How completely in character. Um, where are you going to throw it, Star? I thought you were throwing a party. Okay, now he's attending his own party. And we're throwing it in here. Probably the dirtiest, worst place to throw it. If we're going to have a party, let's not do it while standing in shit. How about that, eh? Party's finished. Sorry to those who couldn't attend, but it's still awful in here. Wow, there's so much dirt. <sighs> blight, now solar flare. Ooh, your work's not done. One last blight to go. So the flare is irritating, but it's full, so it shouldn't really impact us too much. Okay, we're about ready to go. We have some frag grenades, we have some EMP grenades. We're going to take all this stuff with us. Hopefully we don't get attacked on the way over, but we can't really guarantee anything. Off we go to get the Arcotech arm. Man, I cannot fucking wait. Inisan's a grower. Inisan is our defensive grower researcher. He will stay behind. Carlo also, because Carlo is slow as fuck, with only one foot. Do we take everybody else? No, we can't possibly. Ridiculous. We're definitely taking with us Starforger. He is our best melee. He has that that shield. We're also taking Simrex, because he's amazing with that katana. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people. Yeah, I reckon eight's okay. 13.8 days of food. Should be plenty, I hope. Eight bedrolls, because we're not dumb. Right, now what we're also going to take is the grenades, EMP, frag, and grenade launcher. Just because we don't know what we're going to come up against, these could be, those are good tech items, really, to take along with us. We are leaving a serious skeleton crew, but hopefully we're only gone like five days. Oh, we also finished research. Good work, Inisan. Which is great, actually. That that leaves means that we can get the Steam Geezer giving us power. Which is actually huge. Okay. Tijo has flown into a murderous rage. He has decided to kill Carlo because he's really fucking hungry. Why didn't you just go eat, Tijo? Why didn't you just go eat? Don't actually kill him. Uh, wh where Where are people? You two. Oh, not you. Snowman, you're up. Sorry. He's actually going to kill him. Carl's just like, but I'm just trying to haul rice, man. Uh, where's Tico's bed? Okay. Prisoners. Okay, it's fine. He's refused to be arrested. Tico's gone berserk. Yeah, it's understandable. Carlo, get out of there. Snowman just beat him up. Oh. We are there. Just sort yourselves out. Okay, this is our kind of cheat seat. <laughs> the second you get to a new map, it reveals itself to you completely. Like a normal game of From World would. But obviously I use the Fog of War mod, so I don't see that permanently. But it is a kind of cheatsy way of scouting ahead. Oh, he's got a defense rifle. What even is that? Ancient pattern short stroke fully automatic battle rifle. A rifle of unknown origin. It's been found in a small niche of with well-off settlements. Fires reduced power for rifle caliber cartridges. I mean, seems pretty good to me. Um, so they got that. They got a little room here, which is probably where the Arcotech arm is. And then there's in here will be the rest of them. Thankfully, it is indeed humans and not like mechanoids. My plan is I one of two things. I'm going to set up a base over here. In which case, if they get pissed and attack me, they have to cross this water. We can shoot the crap out of them as they're in open ground. Beautiful. Or if they don't attack us, we set up defenses. I'll send across um, somebody with the grenade launcher to blow up their solar generator and then hightail it back. That's the idea. Oh shit, they're attacking straight away. 
Okay. <laughs> the Outlanders are just going to go straight for us. That's fine. I also need to make sure that Snowman and Tico don't kill each other. Ooh. Oh, you just cut out his eye. Snowman, not called for. Tico, yeah, please fall over. Jesus Christ. No, you just eat him a fine meal. Uh, Cannon fodder, you're up. Rescue Tico and treat him. Okay, that's that bit done. These guys dropped all their food over there. The the guy, the enemy are attacking straight away, which is great for us. We can kind of hear them coming through the door. We just want to position Star forward and then just have them come across. They're probably going to come along here because it's the shortest way over the water, and we are going to gun them the fuck down. Okay, this is this is where it's, we're going to play it. We're going to sit here and see see what happens. Okay, Jesus, there's the defense rifle. It's really I do find it annoying with the Fog of War mod that they have perfect vision and can see you before you see them. But it's worth it for the tactical van like the tactical gameplay. Oh, Alex taking instantly a burst to the chest. Well, one of them's down, but we are taking some shots. I'm gonna move Alex back. Oh, Trash just took a massive shot to the foot. Okay, there's eight of them, so that means we only, if they if, if they are gonna flee, which that's not always insured, I don't I think, then that means we'd kill four. We've got one. We've got the defense rifle, which is great. I think we pull back a bit. And then try and ambush them as they come around the corner. As they're just coming over to this bit of the the swamp. Alex is down, that's not good at all. Uh, start, please rescue Alex. Trash, just move away. Oh god, he's going to take so many shots. Okay, this is not going very well. Who has the grenade launcher? <laughs> Do I want to use the grenade launcher? I kind of feel maybe I don't. I didn't expect them to attack straight away. This is quite surprising. Oh, the shield's gone. Okay, there's three that we should be able to take down. Holy shit, these guys are accurate, but whoa, Puck is so amazing. Woo, light him up. Okay, here they come. Oh my god, they had like a balanced bull pup. Jesus Christ, I want that so badly. Kill them. Why, why are we not? Kill them. Simrex. Good. Next. Slice him apart. Oh, God. I don't like it. But Star getting there as well. <gasps> no, Star! Uh, Nora sent a wild ricochet, obliterating Starforge's brain and shooting his skull and head. Okay, can we kill Nora, please? I don't care if they're fucking fleeing. Gun them the fuck down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and Star was one of the ones that might, might have been getting the arm as well. Can we not kill Olive? Okay. Simrex will get her. We, 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 we need to fucking move. Don't think there's a turret. So I'm going to send Puck over this direction to go and investigate. Because if they have they, if they have beds, it's better than us resting out here. Nice. Okay, they're down. Oh, Star. A wild ricochet. He was at the back of the pack. I didn't think he was being targeted. He must have still been targeted from when he was rescuing Alex. Trash death, eight hours. Gate death, seven hours. Assault power death, four hours. Who has the medicine? So this is the bad thing about having the the fog of war, is that it makes it a lot harder. Which is as you'd expect, but still that was brutally harder. No one's gonna die no one no one else is gonna die. 
as far as, I, as, as as long as I can help it. Apart from Nora, she'll die. Whoa! Whoa! Why is no one tending to Tico? Why is no one tending to Tico? Oh, cannon fodder, you fucked up. You fucked up. Where are you? You're all the way down here. Any sound? What's your medic like? Medical stuff like? Any sound? Go, go, go. Cannon fodder fucked up. Oh, god damn it. Three hours. I don't think we're going to save him. I think Tico's going to die as well. Any sound is finally tending to Tico. It actually probably would have been better for cannon fodder to, to come up here. In fact, I'm going to get cannon fodder up here just because. Any sun's movement speed is 55%. Uh, at least medical five. Okay, Tiho's not gonna die. Good job, Any san You did well. No idea how bad he's gonna end up being, but he's very close to death. As are a lot of people over here. Puck, can can you please finish building this wall? I, we need this set up, thanks. Just Starforger's corpse next to us all. <laughs> Tiho now has an infection, and with that, I think we're going to leave it here. Is it worth it losing a Star Forger? God, look at how good he was. Although that does mean we only have one jealous person. Was it worth it losing a Star Forger and gaining an Architect arm? I don't know. Um, <laughs> probably not. We did do in in the actual looking at it in this, with silver lining. What we actually gained was a lot of automatic weapons as well, and that's no small thing. Those will definitely help us if we can get them back to our main base but it still overall i think was a negative because star was amazing star was his star fought fucking spiders mega mega spiders hand-to-hand -hand combat and one oh god thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys next time bye